If you follow my channel, then you would probably know that I'm on my Hermes journey this year. But if you haven't and you're new here, hello, my name is Amy and I'm gonna leave a playlist of all the previous Hermes unboxings so far. So this time, my purchases came in this bag, which is a lot smaller than my previous one. And I think the reason is because one of the items didn't come with a box. It's a really good size dust bag to reveal. A baseball cap so I got it in a size small and the material is actually kind of like a scuba or kind of like a neoprene material if you could see it's very smooth and it just has the embossed logo in the front with the H logo and the back is just an elastic runs all around the cap so let's cut that out. I really like this one because I just wanted something really simple. Something that I can wear daily uh, when I'm just running out the door and let's say I have second day or third day hair. I really like the shape of it. It's really cool and I, I like that it's so sleek and really urban. And this is how it looks like on the back. With all my caps, I kind of like to squeeze this part over time to make it even more tighter. But anyway, I already like the shape of this. I think it looks really cool. Spring, fall, and maybe winter, except that if it's a really, really cold winter day, then I need to cover my ears. So in the fall or maybe in the summer when they have the fall collection, I'm going to buy a wool one, one that's made of wool or maybe one of their toques if it looks cute on me. But yeah, I, I'm just so, I'm just so loving this hat. Like, I, I just, I can wear this with everything. I do have a collection of hats. They're not super expensive or anything. I just wear them on a daily basis running errands. Uh, but I always wanted one that is a little bit more sleek. I was actually after the Chanel one that came out in uh, 21P, so the pre-spring summer collection. And I asked my essay about it since the beginning, but apparently we did not order the black color. I think we didn't order it in Canada. When I found out that I couldn't get that one, then I just started looking at Hermes instead. And I remember seeing this, but in the navy color on the website. And then I totally forgot to ask about it when I was there. And luckily this time I asked because I saw that they changed it to the denim one, which I don't like as much. But I asked anyway, just to see what kind of hats they had. And they had one left of this, which is really lucky. And it turns out to be my size, which is perfect. For those of you who are interested, this is the style code right here in the bottom. My next item came in a little box, which is why the shopping bag was so small. If you guys also watch our luxury live show, um, you would probably have an idea of what I picked up and also based on the shape of the box. Maybe you can guess which item down below. Are you ready? So it is a fine jewelry piece. It is a ring and this is the Cordier de Chien ring, the CDC ring in 18 karat rose gold. Really hard to capture but right underneath here behind the band it has the engraving there's also a little marking here on the outside behind the ring i plan on wearing it on my ring finger on my right hand because i already have my wedding set on my left hand and this is how it looks like i also tried a few other ones. I tried their Kelly, I tried their Chen Donc, I tried their Hond, I tried their Punk Ring with diamonds. Uh, I tried a bunch of different other ones. I actually put a preview of all the ones that I tried in store in my wishlist video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. I purposefully wore my CDC bracelet on my right arm today. Usually I wear it on my left arm because it is silver hardware and I usually match the hardware color. And of course, I plan on buying more CDC bracelets anyway. I'll probably end up choosing a gold or a rose gold color so that I can match this ring. There was actually two other rings that I liked too, but they didn't have it in stock and also they didn't have it in my size for one of them. Uh, so it might be a future purchase. Anyway, it also comes with a certificate. You get a little certificate like this, the information about your ring and the serial number. They also date it and then they stamp it with the uh, store 
stamp that uh, you purchase your item from. 2021 is probably not an easy year to get a quota bag because of the pandemic and a slowing down of production, etc, etc. So I'm pacing myself and I'm being patient and I'm actually enjoying the process a lot because everything so far that I've bought, I enjoy so much and I'm actually using, I'm using the blanket every day. I absolutely love my bracelet and my new ring and I'm so excited to add another bracelet that will match this ring. Those of you who are new to my MS journey or are just interested in knowing how to start your own, I'll leave links to all the videos that are related to the subject. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the little story time and unboxings and if you're brand new here, of course, if you want to follow my journey along or you just love this kind of video, then don't forget the subscribe i would love to have you back thank you all so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye